Good morning, it's February 3rd. My name is Galit and this is the Galactic News. So we have a lot going on. We're still in the new phase of the Pisces new moon. Have you set your intentions? And if not, you still have time. Write them down, read them aloud, repeat them through the month, and maybe you're just gonna get what you want because this new moon is really, really special. Pisces on its own is a beautiful sign and it, al it allows us to go out there to the universe with uh, all of our imaginations and even things we couldn't even think that we can imagine. So just try it out. But the other things that are going on are really important. Venus, uh, first of all, let's start with Mars. Mars just met Pluto and uh, just went a little ahead, ahead of Pluto. So we are moving from the balsamic phase Mars was with Pluto to a new phase. It's like a new moon between Mars and Pluto. And that is happening only once every two years. So it's a new cycle. You can also set intentions for the Mars-Pluto Mars cycle saying, how do I want to see my actions in the next two years? What kind of actions and where from, where those actions are going to come from? What is my masculine side? What do I wanna show as my masculine side? What is divine masculinity? What are the good uh, traits in masculinity? Maybe think about those and uh, start this new cycle with those thoughts in mind. Tomorrow, or actually today, uh, Venus is starting a new cycle with Pluto. This is happening once a year. So she's moving from her balsamic phase with Pluto to a new phase just like a new moon. So we also have a new beginning between Venus and Pluto. And Venus is all about evaluating. Evaluating what is our worth, what is it that we want, and what is this life? What do we wanna do with this life? What do we wanna do with this personality of ourselves? What do we care to uh, show? What do we care to experience? So maybe, you want to create a set of intentions for the Venus-Pluto new start. It's a new cycle as well. So right now we have Sun and Moon starting the new lunation for the month. Mars and Pluto starting a two-year new cycle. And Venus and Pluto starting a new one-year cycle. We have another cycle coming up that is starting. And that's the Sun and Jupiter. So on Saturday, the Sun will meet Jupiter in the sign of Pisces. And that start a whole new cycle between Sun and Jupiter, and especially in Pisces, and especially Jupiter, which is the planet of luck and expansion and understanding and getting knowledge and creating optimism and just growth, beautiful growth. So maybe you want to start and create an intention list for the Sun-Jupiter new beginning because the Sun is moving from her balsamic uh, part, stage into a new stage, into a new phase with uh, Jupiter. All these new beginnings, you see it? It's here. On the other hand, we are, we are, we are letting go from the node's axis with the south node in Scorpio, in Scorpio. We're letting go of a lot of anger, a lot of trauma, a lot of fears. Those are all the things that we've been experiencing in the last years, especially with the last two years, right? It was really intense. We all have experienced a huge amount of uncertainty and fears and un unknowing what's going to happen. But you know what? We are here. We have traveled to the other side and it looks pretty good. It looks like things are coming back. Yes, there is the situation with the war, that is still kind of the symbolism of the old way of doing things, the old world. And most of us on the planet are against that. We realize that this can only cause more pain. So maybe that war is coming for us to raise our voice and say, we don't want that old way of being anymore. We don't want the old aggressions of Mars. Mars just started a new cycle and we want to see cooperation. We want to see Mars going to hunt and create things and do actions from a really centered place when it's needed in the right way, taking action in the right way for the greater good of all. No more war. Maybe that's a reminder of how we were before 
and what are the things that we don't want to accept anymore, either in our personal lives or on the planet. So the same with Venus. What we valued before may have changed and transitioned. So what is it that you value now? What do you want to do? It's all about you right now. Mercury is in Aquarius, just met uh, Saturn saying, that's a new beginning as well, one more, another new cycle beginning. Uh, what is it, who you are on an individual uh, intrinsic way? What is your authentic self? How do you want to spend your time on this earth? And how can you spend that time and create your own individual expression, but also be kind to the structure, to the greater good of all, and participate in supporting that structure that is actually supporting us. So those are all the new beginnings. This month is starting, you know, so powerful and so interesting. How are you going to take leverage and, and use this new beginning, use this new energy to propel yourself forward? You've already been preparing your new plan. You know, we've been talking about that for quite a while, for a few months. You're actually ready. There is just this fear of the unknown, right? To, to jump, to jump in the, to the unknown and trust that things would work out. And we have a lot of support with that faith and trust by uh, Jupiter in Pisces and Jupiter is going to meet Neptune in Pisces, another new cycle. So we have all this support to trust that everything will work out even better than we expect. We just have to believe. So enjoy today, enjoy yourself, enjoy life and become the best version of yourself today and every day. I will see you next time.